Are you looking for an RV resort with the best location near many attractions in the Dallas-Fort Worth area? Do you prefer to stay away from the hustle and bustle of the city streets? It doesn't really seem possible to be in the middle of it all with a big RV, but still be in the countryside, does it? Well, the folks at Starry Night RV Resort seem to have found the perfect place to accomplish both things at once. Hey guys, we have a special episode for you today. So back in February, we stayed a week at the brand new Starry Night RV Resort in Fort Worth, Texas. It was really such an awesome stay, so we wanted to share this overview with you guys. After this, we're gonna be right back to our regular content, just sharing our adventures. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, hit that little bell so that you'll be notified whenever we release another video. That really helps us out so much. We really appreciate it and we hope that you enjoy this video. Up until this year, none of us have ever visited this area and definitely felt overwhelmed when we were looking into it. But the second I saw a Starry Night ad on Facebook, I knew it was where we wanted to stay. The property, only recently opened in the fall of 2023, sits tucked away from the busy streets of Fort Worth, Texas. The 15 acre plus RV resort is the destination in itself with a very boutique vibe. Upon check-in, we were given a gift bag with some candies and a postcard and it even included a security gate opener. Starry Night has 75 full hookup sites and they all include a picnic table and a fire pit. The rest of the property truly accomplishes the goal of making its guests feel like they are camping, but with the most desired resort amenities. It's really a unique blend that we have not seen a lot, even in two years of full-time RVing. The 2800 square foot clubhouse features a full kitchen, a coffee bar, an internet cafe, a pool table room, a poker room with a reading nook, and a huge theater room. So we came in here to uh, watch the basketball game, and we are playing some board games down here. This is a massive screen, just so you know. Like this, it may not look like it in the video, but it is huge, huge, huge screen. Outside, you will find a glistening luxury resort-style pool with cabanas. <laughs> and also a beautiful catch and release fishing pond, a nine hole disc golf course, a big dog park, and a playground for the kiddos. Another unique feature here is the game barn. Inside, guests can play cornhole, ping pong, and battleship on a life-size game board. When we stayed at Starry Night, the kids spent a ton of time playing in the clubhouse and on the Sunday of our stay, they were serving Texas-sized waffles and coffee in the kitchen. It was really nice just chatting with the camp hosts and other guests that morning. As you probably already know, there are a lot, a lot of things to do in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. It is a massive area and there are so many attractions. So I'm just gonna show you a little montage of some of the things that we decided to do while we were there.
left. I don't know about this. Yeah. We might have to come back Monday. Well, it'll be too hot once we come early. Oh my gosh. That is the craziest thing I've seen. Look at that. Why does that matter? Because you're not going to be able to do, do anything. anything. That's too many people.
resort is happy to provide recommendations on a lot of things to do. Um, I know they have a board in the game room in the clubhouse that usually has a list of things that are going on or just um, the most popular things to do in the area. But they're happy to provide recommendations on restaurants and stuff like that as well. So just ask if you're curious. You can always get the best recommendations from the locals. So there you have it. Starry Night RV Resort is truly a destination resort that checks all the boxes for us. We were here in the winter, but just imagine the summertime beauty. We would definitely stay here again, and we think you should add it to your list too. All right, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for more of our stay in Montana coming up next.